Hey everyone, James here, and this is a new Let's Play. This is Let's Play Dynamite Eddie. Oh yes. Okay. So, I will quickly change some of this. That's fine. Depending on the logo on the front of the box, you get a different type of head. So, for 
It's not full. Clear head. So this head cannot take damage. Well, it doesn't last very long, so make use of them. The objective for these is just to kill the total number of enemies, which is 48 and slams. Let's use the vacuum head. This sucks up small things. It will not work on medium or big sized enemies. It also takes items, which is very useful. Also, to cancel your head, to, like, to get a different head, like this one can't attack, for example, you press A. And it cancels out and just things like that. Right, so I don't know what this head's called, but what it does is it shoots stars in 112, 360 degree angle, every 45 degrees. And it's really good. And that'll be the last head I use this one. There we go! And, as you'll get told, you're going to get a bonus point. Okay, so that's the first one done. There's three bonus points in this level, and it's all tutorial based, so you cannot miss them. This one is... Hangman. This one is a lot harder. Basically, it's just a moving screen, and you have to dot die. How hard can it be? Well, very hard, because this stage gave me so much trouble. And a nice reminder to say, you're too slow. Yeah, that's a solid graphic. Actually, yeah, recently I've been watching a lot of other LPs, because I've just been in the mood to watch them. Another thing, I won't try and spoil it, but this game has so many movie references, it's not even funny. Like, you probably saw the first movie reference at the very start, even though that movie wasn't out at the time for yet. It's actually, well, there's a game anyway, it's on the PlayStation 2, which would have never been out with this, so yeah. Yeah, you'll see a bunch of movie references, some other game references, it's really clever, I like it. Anyway, this is the hard part. There is no edges to hold on to, so you have to just be really precise. Level 7, okay. Best way to go is with your left, and then with the one above. This is the hard bit. One, two, wait again, wait again, up there. And there you go, just jump on this and you're finished. Hey, that's probably the hardest of the three, but the next one is the most frustrating, definitely. In fact, the next one could probably be considered the hardest, but yeah, this is important. This is Pure, who is your enemy seeker person. You'll see her on bosses. She will tell you exactly where the key master weak spots are. Is that what you just said? A key master is basically just a, an end of war, end of war boss. So for this one, she's gonna point at a target and you have to hit it. This looks easy, and there's 80 enemies. This looks really easy. Trust me, it's not. Especially when you're playing with a keyboard. I tried playing this game with the virtual, the, the Wii classic controller, but I just had, I just wasn't able to get it down properly. And this is from a person that put guns and arrows in a monster to try, so... Yeah, she can see it's freaking quick! And this one actually, the 80 cent, the 80 at the top is actually time limit, it's not an enemy count. You have to win before that runs out. I can't believe I haven't missed yet! Holy frick! Oh, I missed now! The annoying part is when they're dead and they don't appear and you think, oh, it's there, your head has a. See? Oh my gosh. Oh! They confused. Wait! One of my best runs ever of that. Jeez. Okay. That's the whole tutorial finished. Excellent. Okay, so when you're ready, danger. But we will be covering that next time on Let's Play Dynamite Eddie.
See you guys then. Thanks for watching.